Okay, so today we are looking at uh, simultaneous equations. So our first one is x squared plus y squared uh, is equal to 49. And uh, the second one is y squared minus 5x is equal to 49. So if you check here, we have to eliminate 1. And if we subtract the first equation minus the second equation, you'll see that uh, we have a situation where y squared subtracts y squared, which is equal to zero. So we eliminate y squared, right? So it becomes x squared minus minus, minus 5x equal to zero, right? So technically it's x squared plus 5x equal to zero. So now we have a quadratic equation and we need to solve for x now. So let's take the common factor of x squared and 5x, which is x. So it's x plus 5 equal to 0. Now, as you know, if two entities are multiplying each other and the answer is 0, that means that one of them is 0. So it means x is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. So then we solve the two linear equations. This one is already solved for us. And this one, x, we take x5 to the other side. So x is equal to negative 5. So now that we've solved for x, we can now uh, substitute in one of the equations to find the values of what? Of y. So we'll do it in the second equation, this one. So y square, given that y squared minus 5x is equal to 49, uh, we can substitute for one of the values of x. So let's say when x is equal to 0, right? So y squared is equal to 49. Now, taking the square root both sides, that means y is equal to plus or minus square root of 49, which is plus or minus 7. So when x is equal to 0, um, your value of y is plus or minus 7. Now let's do it when x is equal to negative 5. So we substitute again. It's going to be y squared minus 5 times minus 5 uh, equal to 49. So in other words, we're saying um, y squared is equal to 49 plus 25. So y squared is equal to, okay, so 9 plus 5 is 14, 6, 7, 74, like that. So y is equal to plus or minus square root of uh, 74. So these are our y values and these are our x values. By doing this, you've actually solved the simultaneous equation. Thank you.